Well, how do there, chums? Design Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, it's a little bit of a fun video. So I was doing my video the other day talking about ideas for Endgame, and somebody in the live chat hit me up and said, Captain Steve, I've done some renditions, some mock-ups of artwork of alien worlds, the main races worlds inside of No Man's Sky, like Beleron and Darandar and Corvax Prime. And I said, send them over to me, hit me up on Twitter or email me. They've only just gone and didn't done it, people. So I'm going to share their artwork with you. And I've taken their artwork as inspiration for a prompt for AI to see what AI could do with their artwork. So here we go. Let's jump on over and I'll show you what I've come up with. So here we go, people. This is the actual artwork I received. Now, this came from a chap called Will, I guess. Will, and he's in the UK, in the south of the UK. And also, he goes by the name of Mandalorian Studs. Yes, on YouTube. Now, I didn't know how old Will would be, but he's in his early teens. So anyway, here we go. Let's scroll on down. It says Gek Homeworld, Gek Ilios. Now, what I noticed about his artwork for Gek Ilios is it's got lots of hills. It's got lots of sort of factory sort of buildings like this one here. Geks we trust and Gek Radio and all that sort of shenanigans. So I figured I'd feed that into a prompt and see what AI came up with. And this is what AI come up with. So there we go. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, a little bit of water. It's an amphibious planet, is their home world, Beleron. So here we go. Here's, here's Beleron. And uh, also, he put a lot of planets in orbit. So I, I put with a lot of planets in orbit. And it's, it's given us a few more than just a few, to be honest. There's loads there. In fact, I don't think all of these are planets. They almost look like orbs that have risen up from the water because they've got all these lines of water kind of coming off of them these these weird amphibious space whales as well which i think it's pretty darn awesome that it picked up on all of that from the prompts that i put in we've got all the frat trees and so forth and so on and i put with radio towers so there's quite a lot of radio towers in there too freaking mental anyway there's a couple of renditions there's another rendition of Beleron, as per the actual prompt that i put in based on the artwork that was sent over to me by will i mean that looks freaking epic I'd love to visit a planet like that inside of No Man's Sky. And look at this one. This almost looks like some sort of adapted portal or something. Pretty darn freaking lovely. But again, you've got all the radio masts and things like that. And look, it even put a hexaplate planet in the background. How bizarre is that? Oh, hold on. I, this, I think, is... Oh, it's moved on to Corvax Prime. But it doesn't really matter, to be fair. Because it's a similar sort of prompt that I put in for each one. Because there you go. There's the Gek Ink there. And here's Corvax Prime. Now, Corvax Prime also has sort of hills in the background. I couldn't make out if these were hills in the background or whether there were some sort of electrical cables going from tower to tower. I think they're more likely electrical cables because it's the future and all that sort of shenanigans. We've got a Corvax archive there with, with electronic doors. You know what? I might as well just go through and um, show you all the artwork first and then go into the the artistic impressions from Frickin's... Um, AI. But here's here's Durindar, the Viking homeworld. Now this looks like a bridge to me going across here and perhaps some water and some kind of um, struts to hold up the bridge with uh, towers either side. So that's the sort of prompt that I put in for the Viking world. So let's bring back up the actual artist impressions. So this is Corvax Prime, very futuristic with electric cables and things. Lovely jubbly. And uh, clicking on to next. Boom. That's another Corvax Prime, but it could quite easily be maybe the Gek Planet. The reason why it tweaked to me, hold on, that's not the Gek Planet, is there's no water there, you know? Whereas the Corvax planet, I said make it more futuristic, make it more sort of robotic, automated. And this is what it came up with. Again, this is Corvax Prime, and that was off of exactly the same prompt as the previous image. It gets me how it can be so different, but there we go. Uh, Corvax Prime, lovely jubbly. This is Darandar. So the actual prompt that I put in for Darandar, I said two cities separated by water. Um, <laughs> it hasn't quite done that there. And I put lots of spaceships being built in shipyards. I know that wasn't actually in the image, but the two sort of images either side of the bridge, I, I, I had a little creative license there, you know, being the Viking and all of that. But yeah, it looks pretty darn cool. Oh, and also put in ornate buildings that look modernised. Well, this is kind of what it came up with. Okay, cool, yeah. and there you go, there's the other one, Dar and Dar, separated by water. You can see water going through here, and there are two cities. So it, it done a pretty good job, to be honest, of the rendition of the artwork. 
But it does make me think I would love to see cities come into No Man's Sky. There was a game that was in development, it was called Beyond Good and Evil 2 by Ubisoft, and uh, yeah, it had some awesome cities inside of that. And also you could travel seamlessly from planet to space and back down again, and it had cities that looked a little bit like this. They were sort of like a Hindu cross japanese sort of slant on the actual cities inside of that game, and they looked amazing. I really do hope they pick that game back up. But this rendition of Darren Dar was very reminiscent of that game. If I can find some footage, I'd, I'd overlay it while I was talking there, you know. And this one is just a similar sort of city, Darren Dar yet again, but it looks like it's at night. And look how many people are hustling and bustling around there. If we can have a city like that in No Man's Sky with that many NPCs, I'd be amazed. But you know, somebody hit me up the other day and said, Captain Steve, what if a modder got hold of No Man's Sky? and replaced all fauna, flora, well, replaced the actual fauna with NPCs, and replaced every single um, rock and tree, so mineral and flora, with building parts, you know, big building parts, almost like bits from maybe the archives or outposts, things like that. Wouldn't it generate a massive city on the planet? It probably would. Heck yes. Yeah. So it'd be cool if they could do it with maybe the relic parts for relic sites. That'd be pretty interesting. But yeah, a modder probably could do that. They could probably mod in some sort of super city using the parts that are already inside a game. I'm surprised that hasn't already been thought about. And to replace all the actual fauna with NPCs, it could be doable. Could be doable. You know, any other images? I think that's all of them. Oh no, this is another one of Beleron, which I think is freaking awesome. I mean, look at that for an amphibious like world. That's awesome. And yet another one of Beleron as well. It looks like there's all these weird craters here, which probably are spawning pools in an offset planet. So maybe they've got two planets, Beleron, and then a neighboring planet is a nest planet or something. I don't know. But that looks pretty darn freaking epic. And these are all based off of prompts from the artwork that Will sent over. So a massive thank you to Will. Yeah, keep up your artistic works there, Will. Awesome stuffage. And uh, they went by the name of, um, what was it, Mandalorian Stud or something like that. Mandalorian Studs. But yeah, anyway, thank you for being inside of the actual live chat there, Will. I'm very much appreciated. There we go, Mandalorian Studs. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching people in the viewerverse. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Heck okay. yeah. It's nice to sort of get a little nod to the actual community if they've done something fairly creative and it also spurs the imagination for what could be inside of game. So a lot of people from my previous video where I was talking about end game content would love to see cities and the home worlds brought into the game. How Hello Games could do that though is a different thing, you know. High end PCs I think could deal with it quite easily. But then, when you look at Nintendo Switch and they haven't got settlements yet, settlements have not been brought into the game and into the verse, I don't know how they would cope with a city-sized structure. Then again, these new space stations have come in, they seem to be handling those beautifully. So it's all about optimization, and I think Hello Games will get there in the end. Maybe they will revisit settlements, maybe they might even bring in some of these home worlds, as people have mentioned them quite a lot, and Hello Games tends to listen to the audience. Now a lot of people say, well, Hello Games might not ever do that, you know, it's too late into the game. But you know, we was banging that drum for ship customization for such a long time, and now it's appeared inside a game. It might not be to what everybody imagined, but it's in the game similar to the sandworms and other stuff like that so i never rule anything out when it comes to hello games people inside the view of us anyways sound up in the comments let us know what you thought of the artwork and the ai renditions and whether you like the idea of um, home worlds coming into the verse i think if we are to see any of the home worlds come into the verse with all this talk of the void mother and void prime i am wondering whether we might get to see void prime at the very least that's 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 kind of like a little that's me going off in speculation town. That's not me trying to drive up hype. I'm just saying that the Void Mother resides on on Void Prime, which was Corvax Prime that got destroyed. And could it be that they enter into a, some sort of raid system in No Man's Sky? Could they bring in that planet? They probably could. That's all I'm saying. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.